Welcome to the Alien RDWC System Operation video. In this video, we will look at using the system for the first time, adding nutrients and connecting a water chiller to the system. The ideal nutrient solution temperature is between 18 and 20 degrees. At this temperature, it is far less likely your plants will contract a root disease. If your solution temperature rises above 24 degrees, then you should consider installing a water chiller. This will give you complete control over the temperature of your plant's roots. Let's look at how to connect a chiller to the system. The preferred location of the chiller would be next to the header pot. The chiller can be placed further away from the header pot if required, but you may need to contact us to purchase a water pump upgrade. Drill two 26mm holes either in the lid or on the side of the header pot as high up as possible. For chillers up to 300 litres, 16mm alien green pipe is used to connect the chiller to the system. For chillers 300 litres and above, 19mm alien green pipe is used. Fit a piece of pipe between the water pump in the header pot and the inlet connection on the chiller. Then fit another piece of pipe to the chiller outlet and run it back into the header pot. Ensure the pipes do not interfere with the float valve. The system will now recirculate through the chiller and cool your nutrient solution. We recommend the temperature be set to 19 degrees on the chiller. You are now ready to fill the system with water. Fill the pots using a hose pipe. While the system is filling, you can add a small amount of nutrients to the header pot. When the float valve reaches the level position, the system is full. Turn the water pump and air pump on to recirculate the nutrient solution. Let this recirculate for an hour, then check your EC and pH readings. Adjust accordingly, only adding a small amount of nutrients and pH down at a time. It's a good idea to fill the system the day before you introduce your plants. This allows the water to reach 18 degrees as very cold water can shock your plants. The height of the nutrient solution is set to around 2 cm below the net pot with the float valve set to level. If you wish to set your float valve to a different level then you can do so by adjusting the wing nut. Place your plants in the net pot supplied using 1 inch or 3 inch cubes. If using the 1 inch cubes, put a layer of pebbles, approximately 4 cm, in the bottom of the net pot. Then place your cube and fill the remaining void with clay pebbles. The 3 inch cubes will fit snugly in the net pot without using any clay pebbles. If you are transplanting very small cuttings or seeds using 1 inch cubes, you must fill the system so the water touches the net pot. This will keep the 1 inch cubes from drying out for the first few days. The water tank is only used to maintain the water level in the system. As you will be transplanting young plants into the system, they will not use much water. You may not need to fill the tank for the first week or so of growth until your plants are established and begin to use the water. Once you begin using the water tank, you can dose the tank with your nutrients rather than putting nutrients directly into the header pot. This will drip feed the system and keep the level maintained. As your plants grow, you will need to top up the tank more regularly. The system can be drained very easily. Simply remove the pipe from the water pump in the header pot and connect a drain line. This will remove most of the water from the system for cleaning or performing a nutrient change. Simply adding H2O2 solution to a system full of clean water and letting it recirculate overnight will clean and sterilize the system between crops. Thank you for watching and please visit our website alienhydroponics.co.uk for further information.